Hi everyone, this is a collective read. Um, it's the love messages from August now, late August going into September. It's going to be for um, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius. All right, so let's get started for Pisces. What are love messages for Pisces? Love messages for Pisces. All right, we'll do a four card spread. Love messages for Pisces. the bottom of the deck six of cups soulmate energy someone could be younger someone could be older um, talks about real estate too um, children uh, having history nostalgic thoughts of the past let's see eight of wands nine of cups judgment nine of pentacles What I, what I was here when I first flipped over the cards is indecision. Some of you, you got one foot in and one foot out. Um, you want to be elsewhere or you want to be single or you're trying to, you know, determine what it is you want. But children, time, a partner you've been with for a very long time is the stumbling block here. You may be dealing with someone who... Um, is jealous or, or is it, they're greedy you may be having conversation uh, rapid communication back and forth about that or or this could be quote unquote the arrows of love you could be communicating with um, someone and it's a wish fulfillment for you Pisces you could have to make a, a um, this situation has come back around for you once again you have to be final and definite in what you want to do is it that you want to be single? Is it that you want to be partnered? Some things are ending for you. You you have options here. But the past still has a, an emotional hold on you. And or children. Children being a factor in what it is you choose to do. Okay, Pisces. These are our messages for you. Um, we're going to go into the next sign, Taurus. All right, Taurus. One of the love messages for Taurus, a four card spread for my Taurus collective. It's a general read, it will not resonate with everyone, so just take it how you will. Okay, go with it. Love messages for Taurus. Okay. Our Taurus got an extra card. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. Taurus could be dealing with a Gemini or dealing with a situation where there is um, you have to make a choice okay, so. three of swords the high priestess the will of fortune the tower seven of wands So Taurus, it looks like there might be some separation, even a pending divorce, maybe due to infidelity. There were secrets, but it looks like they're revealed with the will of fortune in the tower here. Maybe in regards to an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Piscean person, a Scorpio, it could be anybody, Gemini. Someone had like a whole secret life. They 
things were revealed here and now Taurus is Taurus is at a place where they have the upper hand. Someone that they were dealing with has to or has to or did make a choice or Taurus has to make a choice. Someone could be on the on the break of divorce, divorcing, uh, separating. Some unexpected event happened here. Taurus or the person you're dealing with thought that they were keeping something under wraps. It came out and now they're defensive. Or well, this is you, Taurus. Whatever is happening here is supposed to happen with the Wheel of Fortune here and the High Priestess. Some of you, this is this is really breaking your heart. This is really hurtful. You found out about another person. Another person found out about you. It it just blew a complete situation up. You may have even gotten caught in the act here. Someone's defensive. All right. These are the love messages for Taurus. Um, if it resonated, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Request a personal reading. Okay, so now we're going to go on to Leo. Okay, and we're back to do the love messages for Taurus. For August, late August, going into September. Love messages for, oh, for Leo. Sorry, love messages for Leo. Leo, 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 going into happy birthday, Leos. I think we we'll have to switch it up and get into Virgo, right? Um, Leo, love messages for Leo. Go September, August, going into September. I'm all turned around. So, okay. Okay. All right, and at the bottom of the deck, the Empress. Nice. Libra, Taurus. Um, we'll get into that. Let's see. Ooh, the Ace of Cups in reverse. The Page of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. The Magician. All right, Leo. It looks like Leo. Either you're holding on, or someone's holding on to you. Someone's spying on you. The love is, is run out here. Maybe in regards to Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There may be some harsh words or some cutting off. Someone gave you a message of, that they are whatever. You fill in the blank. Or you gave someone a message that you are. But there's still a sense of holding back and holding on. Trying to hold on to some type of status. Some type of... Um, keeping someone around it may be an Aquarius Gemini Aries still trying to manipulate the situation to where you still hold the same weight or status in a person's life it may be someone outside of a connection there could be you know parties involved or it could be just someone outside of a of um, what Leo has established. You could be holding on to someone, the idea of being with someone. The love is cut off. The cup has run it over and out, out and over. It's done. I think you're still either Leo or the person you're dealing with is trying to reel you back in. Or you're trying to reel someone else back in. Let me look at yeah. King of Cups under the Empress. You could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart, 
or uh, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Um, they may be still trying to hang in there uh, and hold on. You could be dealing with a, a younger air sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Something about the communication being cut. Someone's still trying to hold on. It's still manifest. Whatever it is they want with this person. But it looks like from the other side, Leo, it's done. You're holding on to something that is, is shut down or shut off from you. Okay. Um, these are the messages for Leo. I hope it resonated. If it does, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. We're going to go on to Libra. Okay, hi Libra. So, these are the love messages for Libra. Love messages for Libra. Four card spread for Libra. What's going on? Libra. bottom of the deck nine of clubs this talks about new boyfriend new girlfriend uh, a, achievements yeah a secret admirer mm -hmm. two of diamond king of heart four of diamond four of heart Libra is trying to get some some balance, uh, not even balance, stability. Libra, you may even come into some money here, and it'll change your your, your course, your journey. Um, may even be a, a a move of home here for you. Uh, Libra, you might be maybe doing some business with maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's not favorable. A business deal. A love affair here. Someone's juggling. There might even be someone new, Libra, in the midst of dealing with someone that is quote unquote old or you have history with. This this change, this victory I'm hearing, this lottery, this money, this windfall, this fortune. It might just shift your perspective. It also may make you look at someone new. Someone new may come out of the woodwork and say that, you know, they, they like you or they're, they're interested. It's a secret admirer here. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. This love affair, maybe with this person, I am intuitively feeling that it's not. It's going to lead nowhere. It's going to lead to the same place it got you before. You might want to consider a change and maybe someone new. Okay, Libra, so that's the message for you. Looks good. Pretty straight and clear. All right. So we're on to his next Sagittarius. Hi, Sag. It's L here to do a quick read, quick love read for you. Uh, it's going to be four cards. It may resonate, it may not. It's okay. I hope that it does resonate for you. Alright, and these are the love messages from now, August, late August until September. Let's jump into it. Oh, okay, sad. Card got something to say to you. To you. Right. Bottom of the deck. 
nice the two of cups a successful relationship mutually beneficial love rests between the two of you you feel the same way about somebody else that they feel about you that's a beautiful thing all right queen of wands coming up all right three of wands the fair okay you are all in here this is sad um are the fair lit yeah the eight of wands things may be moving quick uh for you uh sagittarius um you may even be considering getting married um long the long term the long haul you may be having conversation about what's next uh leaving behind the old going into the four of wands establishing something new and real the eight of wands and it moving fast it moving quick it be it move it be moving okay guys <laughs> it's like it's moving pretty quickly for you <laughs> it looks really good um the energy is good here you may have long-term plans that you're making in regards to um someone else maybe another fire sign it's nothing but fire here oh water cancer Pisces, scorpio it, it looks good um you're trying to it's as if some of you're going to maybe a person and, and, and letting them know that you've changed you see things differently you're leaving behind the old you would like to establish something new and real and true the four of wands with someone you may have to manipulate the energy in regards to that yin and that yang that masculine and that feminine energy to get them to a place where they they'll hear what you're saying you're going to have to be genuine um you may also feel like this relationship brings a lot of balance a lot of equality um, things are moving quite fast for you it looks really good um sagittarius and i'm happy for you all right so i'm pretty sure you, everyone wants this reading to resonate with them uh take care sag bye hi capricorn it's l here to do a quick love reads the love messages from now uh late august going into september so let's get started all right four cards spread for you At the bottom of the deck, we have the death card transformation. It could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something could be ending, a new beginning. Something could be completely shifting, um, transforming, uh, the energy shifting for you. Let's see. Seven of water, four of air, king of earth, five of earth. Looks like it might be an ending or... A temporary separation here a temporary separation maybe for you Capricorn or if you're dealing with another uh, Virgo Capricorn Taurus like yourself if someone is feeling a lack of confidence in in partnership if there is partnership uh, a lack of um, they feel shut out they feel like there's no energy no effort there's no building there's no six of Pinnacle there's no uh, stability there's no equality here maybe due to the fact that someone could be a cheating spouse someone makes promises and breaks them all someone creates illusions disillusionment around a certain situation uh, cancer Pisces Scorpio it doesn't have to be but it looks like because of maybe some energy here someone keeping options open uh there was there's been a period of separation a period of contemplation about what to do next maybe of even healing from being broken hearted or disappointed
Capricorn, someone could have found out, a partner could have found out that you are, are cheating, you are um, not being honest, or vice versa. Therefore, there's an, there's an ending, but also a new beginning here. There's zero confidence. And how this will turn out. One more card. Seven number. Yeah, someone's looking at the past. Could be dealing with another earth sign. Then now they're looking at what how long they've known you, what they've established with you. It's just not rewarding to them. They're not getting the return that they expect from this. Someone can also be waiting for you. Waiting for you to end something, Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, an uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There might be separation with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, these are the messages for Capricorn. Um, I hope it resonates. I hope you find. Yeah, I don't know. These are the messages for late August going into September. Uh, stay in prayer, Capricorn. Okay, so we've got Aquarius up next. Alright, last but not least, Aquarius. Let's go. Um, okay, let's go. Alright, the love messages for Aquarius. Love messages for Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, the Six of Pentacles. Nice. Um, <clears throat> maybe you guys will be finding um, some. Let's see. Let's just before we start talking. Okay, it might be positive. The Sun. Nice. The most positive card in the deck. Illuminates the, the dark places, the, the the sun and the moon, the, uh, the light and the dark. Uh, whatever is happening, Aquarius, right now, do know that this you have the sun energy with you. Uh, positivity will come out of this. Maybe even a payout. Maybe even uh, you you may find um, equality in a certain situation. You may receive some money. You may give some money. Um, you may find balance here. Uh, you may be able to save more money is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's see. The King of Cups. The Five of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks like you're coming up as Queen of Pentacles. Um, Aquarius, you're more so concerned about financial the equality of a situation, equality of the home, home life, what what that looks like for you and to you. Sometimes it talks about real estate deals and the negotiation of it. Of the King of Cups and the Five of Swords. Uh, it looks like you have to stand your ground. You have to stand up for yourself. You got your energy here, uh, the sword energy, Airy, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There might have been interference. There could, there could be interference. There is interference. Um, this cup, this person is coming to you, bubbly and googly eyed, and you're just like. ready to do battle i think this you know this person may have taken you through some things cancer pisces scorpio they're okay they're completely in love and you you have things it is you need to say to this person. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to speak about 
the the hurt the the problems in the relationship this is a conversation where there's no winner nor is there a loser it's just truth in in it's your truth it's conversation that clears the air because you can't get to the six of sword peace calmness serenity uh without having this conversation and in the past you may have tried to skip over this you know brush everything under the rug and go to the six of sword and and just try to go along to get along and be peaceful but you can no longer do that because you aren't getting what you want or you didn't get what you want in this situation so things are illuminated to you here in regards to maybe a cancer pisces scorpio you're concerned about the longevity of a situation of a relationship you want to be a wife or a husband um you want a give and take relationship you want equality you are giving this speech to this person how they take it is interesting knight of cups under the six of pentacles <laughs> yeah they just want to love you it's almost as if they have the oh wow the um they want to be your husband or your wife do know that the six of wands and then the emperor um the magician the knight of cups is as if they feel like love will conquer all but you are you're a good communicator if not a great one you have to say this because if you don't you feel like you're not being true to you aquarius i hope that this resonated with you uh, like share comment subscribe to the channel it's much appreciated thank you take care make sure you comment below to uh win a free reading with me in september all of my information is below of how to contact me for a reading Go over to my website, send me an email, go to Instago if you have um, an Apple device. Um, I do not respond to any reading requests via Instagram. You will be politely redirected, but you will be redirected. Uh, know that I'm praying for you, um, Aquarius, in, in each and every sign. Uh, continue to pray for me. Thank you and take care.